Hi, welcome to another video tutorial in which I'll be going through this exam question. In this exam question we've been given some high level programming code and we've been asked to uh, write, rewrite this code uh, in assembly language using the uh, instructions given in table 3 in this paper. And I've got an extract of table 3 over here and these are the the uh, instructions that I used when I uh, went through the solution and uh, came programmed it for myself. So let's start off by looking at the first line here. We've got an if statement, and that implies that we're going to, and it's got a condition. So that implies that we're going to have to uh, conditionally branch because we've got a condition here. We're going to have to do something with a condition here in our assembly. We're going to conditionally branch the instruction at position label in the program if the last comparison met the criteria specified by the condition. And this, in, this description of this branch instruction mentions a comparison. So we can't just go straight into the branch instruction because we haven't done this part of the high level program here, the comparison. And for that we need this instruction here. So to compare x with the decimal value 5, we need to know where x is stored. And in the question it tells us that x is stored in register 1. So we're going to use the uh, compare command and we're going to compare the value stored in register 1 with the value specified by this operand and that's going to be the decimal value 5 and we specify a decimal value in this particular instruction set by doing a hash and then the value. So our first instruction then in our assembly is going to be the compare so it's CMP then register 1 for our X value so we're comparing register 1 with the decimal value and that's our first instruction. Now we're going to come on to the if bit of the high level code which is the conditional branch and we're going to conditionally branch to another part of our program and what we want to do is we want to branch to here if this isn't true and this is going to be line 4 of our program because I'm going to have the branch on line 2, this part of the program here on line 3, and line 4 here. So I just write that in there. We're going to, so we're going to conditionally branch, so we need, so we need to start our command with a B. And then our condition is not equal to because we want to skip this part of the code if this is not true. So I'm going to, for the for our second part of the instruction, I'm going to write n e, so not equal to, and then label. So we're going to skip to line 4. And it doesn't uh, give you a clear indication of how you're supposed to uh, indicate where you want your program to skip to. So if you just indicate it like I've done here in a clear way in the exam then you should be okay. So line 4 I want it to skip it, skip past that instruction to here. So that's our if and if part of the program. We've done our comparison we then need to do this part of the program in assembly and this part of the program is storing 10 in B and our question tells us that register 2 stores the value associated with B so we're going to be storing the decimal value 10 in register 2 and for that we need the move uh, instruction so this instruction copies the value specified by this operand to 
the register specified here. So we want to copy the decimal value 10 into our register, register 2, which is associated with B. So our command then is going to be MOV and then register 2. and the decimal value 10 and that's my assembly and that was for four marks okay I hope you found this video useful and uh, hope you've got I think you got that we're able to get that answer and follow that thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one